Everyone has heard of the famous Antelope Canyon, but what if I told you there's an even more incredible Sly Canyon just outside of Zion National Park that so many people miss? Where ancient human history meets some of the most spectacular geology in the Southwest. And the best part is you won't have to fight the crowds to experience it. Welcome to the Rock Record TLDR. Let's talk rocks. Utah has over 1,000 slot canyons, but this one right here is special. Welcome to Peekaboo, or as some call it, Red Canyon. While everyone comes for some pretty amazing photos, there's an even more incredible story hidden within these walls. Let's take a little walk and I'll show you. Getting here is just part of the adventure. Unlike most slot canyons, you can't just park and walk right in. You'll either need an off-road vehicle or be ready for a pretty long hike. The biggest challenge here is the deeper sand. If you're not used to driving in sand, it can be a little tricky. You'll want a high clearance 4x4 vehicle like a Jeep or 4Runner, or an ATV or UTV. If you don't have your own off-road vehicle, that is not a problem. Knab has plenty of rental options. Or you can even just book a tour, which is great if you want to learn more about the area's history. Just remember that Utah requires a quick online education course for ATV and UTV use. But if you're driving a passenger vehicle like a Jeep or 4Runner, this course is not required and there's no special licensing needs. The drive might be a little challenging, but it does help to keep the crowds away. And trust me, what's waiting at the end is absolutely worth it. Let me show you something incredible about how these slot canyons form. These narrow passages were carved by flash floods over thousands of years. Think of it like nature's own sculpture studio, but instead of chisels and hammers, it uses water and time. These amazing canyons start with just a little crack or weakness in the rock. When rain hits the desert, it doesn't really have anywhere to go but down. Over thousands of years, water finds these weak spots and slowly carves deeper and deeper. Think about it, these walls can be 100 feet high, but sometimes less than three feet wide, kind of like right behind me here. It's all thanks to water finding the weakest path through the Navajo sandstone. This is the same rock formation that we saw at Zion, so if you want to know more about it, check out that video. We also saw it at Valley of Fire, however, regionally that's called the Aztec sandstone there. And it's also part of what you see at the famous Antelope Canyon, although this canyon is a little bit less well known. Each flash flood sculpted these walls, creating these smooth flowing patterns as the water raged through these weak points in the rock. It's kind of like nature's own art gallery. How cool is that? Do you want to see another cool feature of the Slot Canyon? Right here, do you see these logs? These logs are wedged between the canyon walls here. They're remnants of past flash floods, so it just goes to show you how powerful the force of water can be. We gotta go random. The really mind-blowing part about Slot Canyons is that this process is still happening today. Every time it rains, these canyons change just a little bit. We're literally watching geology in action, just in really, really slow motion. This slot canyon isn't just about cool geology, although that is my favorite part. It's also about ancient human history. As you're walking through this canyon or other slot canyons in the Southwest, be sure to keep your eyes peeled for something truly special. On these walls, you might see something that looks like Weird little holes carved in the rocks. Okay, it's really dark in here, but I wanna show you guys something really cool. Do you see these kind of holes in the rock here? They're kind of going all the way up, all the way through here. So these little holes right here were actually steps that were carved by the ancestral Puebloans, sometimes called the Anasazi, about 800 to 1,000 years ago. So if you think about it, we are literally walking in the footsteps of people that were here a millennia ago. Isn't that crazy? These are called the Moqui Steps, and they tell us an incredible story about how ancient peoples used these canyons. The lowest step is currently about five feet off the canyon floor, and the people who carved these likely used handmade ropes or ladders to reach them. They carved these steps to access an alcove up top, which archeologists think might have been used as a granary, basically an ancient food storage system. It's pretty clever when you think about it, using the natural shelter of the canyon to protect their food supplies. The canyon floor might have been different back then too. Over a thousand years of flash floods could have washed away sediment, making the first step higher than it was originally. One of the things that makes Peekaboo so special 
is how much variety you see in such a short distance. This hike is less than a mile round trip if you have an off-road vehicle and start at the start of the slot canyon itself. But look at these colors. Do you see how the sandstone changes from brownish to reds and oranges? These patterns are created by different minerals in the rock. And you can actually watch how these colors change as the sun moves. It's like the walls come alive during different times of day. Each bend in the canyon reveals something new. The way the light plays on these walls, the texture of the rock, and even the way sound travels through here. If you're planning a visit to Peekaboo or any of Utah's other famous slot canyons, here are some crucial things to know. First and foremost, never enter any slot canyon if there's even a chance of rain. Flash floods are no joke and they can happen even if it's not raining exactly where you are. The road can be impassable when wet here at Peekaboo, so be sure to check conditions before you head out. Timing matters too. Morning light does tend to be the best for photos, and you'll want to avoid the heat of the day, especially in the summer. While Peekaboo is one of the less crowded slot canyons in Utah, that doesn't mean you should take it lightly. Always bring plenty of water, let someone know where you're going, and download maps before you come. Cell service out here is pretty spotty to non-existent. I did find the map on all trails helpful, even if you're hiking from the parking lot all the way to the slot canyon or driving from the parking lot to the slot canyon entrance. From ancient peoples carving steps a thousand years ago to water slowly sculpting these canyons. Southern Utah shows us how geology isn't just about rocks. It's about time and transformation. Whether you're a geology nerd like me or just someone who loves cool places, there's something magical about walking through these stone corridors. They remind us that some of Earth's most beautiful art formations take thousands of years to create. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out our other adventures from Utah as well as the full vlog coming up soon, so be sure to stay tuned for that. And let me know in the comments, what's your favorite slot canyon? Because I definitely want to check it out. As always, remember be respectful to these incredible places, check the weather before you visit, and leave no trace so future generations can enjoy them. We will see you on the next Rock Record adventure.